welcome to our tutorial. This video will demonstrate how the spotlight mode is handled in Savoir and how to have very efficient planning when combined with the optimization feature. First, some details of what the spotlight mode is. Spotlight mode is a technique used by some satellites to increase the resolution of an acquisition by looking at the same location for a longer period of time. As the satellite passes over an area of interest, the sensor is kept pointing at the same spot on the ground in order to increase the exposure and to obtain a higher spatial resolution. This is a technique used mostly by synthetic aperture radar satellites, like those of the Cosmo SkyMed constellation or by TerraSAR-X. You obtain acquisitions of 10 by 10 kilometers for these satellites with a very good spatial resolution in the order of one meter. The consequence of this spotlight mode is that additional time is required to acquire the same image size than it would with a normal nadir pointing sensor mode. In Savoir, the time that is needed to acquire the image in spotlight mode is called the integration time. Let's begin by going on the satellites pane and selecting Cosmos SkyMed 4 so that we are able to see the spotlight mode in further details. Activate the sensors and we see that both a left pointing and a right pointing spotlight mode is available. By clicking on one of the modes, we are given the details in the properties pane here below. And choosing the swath tab, which is the third one here, we can see that the acquisition is 10 by 10 kilometers when we talk about scene length and scene width and the integration time is 7.3 seconds which means that it will take 7.3 seconds to complete instead of the customary 1.5 seconds that you would expect for an acquisition length of 10 kilometers. Now to show the usefulness of the spotlight mode we are going to do some acquisitions for one or more islands. Going to the areas pane up here I am going to select Africa to work with from the country's submenu and I'm going to expand the Seychelles Islands so that I'm given the long list of Seychelles and I would like to work with the Denis Island which is a rather small island just a few kilometers in width. By double clicking on the name I am zoomed in quite closely on the map and you can see on the mini map here at the bottom right corner that we are just off east, the east coast of Africa. I had done some trials before so that I chose a time window covering June 14th to make sure that the area would be covered. Now I'm going to go back to the satellites pane and I'm going to select the spotlight mode to right simply by clicking on it you can note that the max area auto steering option is on, meaning that Savoir will choose the angle to best cover the area. Now when I click on the refresh button, it will give me a result and as you can see, we obtain a small square, let me zoom out a little bit, a small square over the area with a bigger rectangle around it. Unfortunately, the color is not so clear, so we're going to change it quickly to an orange, and now it's more visible. The square shows the actual area that is acquired, whilst the rectangle represents the equivalent area that would be covered during the integration time if the sensor was not pointed forward and backward. Instead, with the spotlight mode, during the entire 7.3 seconds of integration time, the sensor is pointed on the square area to obtain the higher resolution acquisition of 10 by 10 kilometers. And we can easily verify this using the distance tool. So I'm going to first zoom in a little bit so that it's clearer. I'm going to go to the area of interest menu here, click, and then I'm going to select the distance tool. Placing the cursor on the bottom left corner, working my way straight up, I can see that the length is indeed the 10 kilometers or so that we were talking about. And if I move it down to see the width, once more, we can see that we are talking about 10 kilometers. By right clicking with my mouse, I am out of the distance tool. Now switching to the Gantt view here, I can see that my acquisition is given 
with the integration time shown as a colored bar and the thin lines representing the actual acquisition. Clicking on the acquisition opens up a dialogue window or a pop-up window with the details showing that the duration is the 7.3 seconds of the integration time. Now, I would like to do something a little more complex. First, switching back to my map view, I am going to select the planning of all of the Seychelles Islands. So I'm going to go back to the areas pane and I'm going to place my cursor over the Seychelles and I'm going to double click. And as you can see, all of the Seychelles are now highlighted on the map of the world. And now I am going to change the time window to cover a period of two months. So I'm going to open up my calendar and I'm going to select, let's say, from May 1st to June 30th. I'm then going to hit the refresh button. A warning appears because a two month time window could take a bit of time to calculate, but we can proceed by clicking yes. As it is calculating, I can already tell you that the result will have many acquisitions which will be redundant. This is because the default action is for each pass to cover the maximum area. Hence, the bigger islands will be covered many times, whilst the smaller ones are never covered at all. And here is my result, but it's a bit difficult to see because of the field of regard swaths. So I'm going to turn off this display by going to the view menu up here, and I'm simply going to deselect field of regard swaths. At which point it is now more clearly shown on the map and as I anticipated before we see that the bigger islands are well covered while the smaller ones are ignored as it is clear when we zoom in. Here we can turn on the optimize function so that during the calculation previously covered areas are considered. So under the tools menu I'm simply going to click on optimize which point I get my dialog window and I'm going to select optimize all and then I'm going to turn on the two-step option here which adds an additional cleanup procedure where unnecessary swaths are removed. I'm going to change the target coverage percentage from 98 by default to 100 percent and I'm going to leave the desired number of coverages at one but for a period of 90 days rather than the 30 by default. And I'm then going to click the OK and the refresh to start my calculation once more and I'm going to acknowledge the warning again. I'm going to get a new solution with all of the islands now being included with small acquisitions of 10 by 10 kilometers. As you will see in just a moment and here we are and in fact all of the islands are now covered. Switching to the Gantt view once again we can see all of the acquisitions here and I can measure how long it took and see the cumulative coverage by right clicking on the sensor name when positioned over the sensor and then choosing the cumulative option percent cover. At which point I am given a plot showing the cumulative cover percentage and it can be seen that the coverage reaches 100%. I can now take the time measure tool from here and I can see that the time it takes from the beginning of the plot to the end of it is 41 days. Now, since Savoir is a multi-satellite tool, I can select other satellites to work with to show as well. So I'm going to go back to my satellites pane and I'm going to select also the Cosmos SkyMed 3, 2 and 1 sensors. So again, I'm going to activate and choose the spotlight mode to right for Cosmos SkyMed 3. I'm going to repeat this action for SkyMed 2, choosing the same sensor once more, 
and then the same for Cosmos SkyMed 1. And now I'm going to go back to the map view and hit the refresh and once again acknowledge my warning. Now we can see that Savoir is calculating with all four of the satellites being considered and as we can see in just a moment we will obtain a result with different colors showing the four different satellites in use. It's doing the calculation here rather quickly and here we are as you can see four different colors for the four different satellites in use. On the Gantt view once more I can turn on the cumulative percentage coverage option again ensuring that it is done for the area and not for the single sensor. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say group by areas of interest first. Then I'm going to once again right click when positioned over Africa Seychelles and I'm going to select cumulative percent coverage once more and I'm given a new plot and when I use the time measure tool I can see that the time it takes from the beginning to the end is of nine days which is roughly a quarter of the time it took previously. So that is all regarding how to obtain optimized spotlight plans in Savoir. Thank you for your attention.